Hello guys again, we are back with another unboxing, viewing and testing of this TP-Link AC1200 Wi-Fi router full gigabyte dual band Archer C6. We've got 867 megabits per second in a network 5 gigahertz and 300 megabits per second in a network 2.4 gigahertz. Faster Wi-Fi with Miu Mimo, full gigabit ports and this uh, Miu Mimo and that was the reason because I buy this device because to my home I've got about 50 wireless devices, LEDs, sockets, alarm, uh, cameras, etc, etc and that was a problem for me and the Miu Miu that is the technology serves multiple devices at once reducing wait time increasing Wi-Fi throughput for every device and making its stream more efficient into the bag we can see we've got 10 more faster connectivity 1 gigabyte one port and 4 gigabyte LAN ports to leave it speed up to 10 times Vast Wi-Fi coverage in an Archer C6 and a regular router, you can see the differences. Smooth entertainment with the AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi, speeds up to 1167 megabits per second. Secure VPN access, personalized management, that's everything nice and of course I will test it to see the speed that it has and if everything that's in the box is true. Well, let's open it to see what we have inside. And of course, you can install this by the app, download it on Android, on iOS. There it is, the TB-Link Tether, or you can uh, set up it from the web browser. And there we are. We have into the box some manuals, if you want to read it, it's your choice, of course, but stay with me, we're gonna find out all about that. The Ethernet cable, this is the CAT 5E UTP, and of course we've got the adapter, 12 volts, 1 amp, and that was all. And let's go to the router. If I remember correct, it's quite glossy. And this is the lovely part in a new device. Okay, let's open all the antennas. There is five antennas included, outside and one inside. Now, here we've got four port ethernet, one for the internet, We've got a WPS and Wi-Fi on off, the reset button and the power on off button and the power for your adapter. We've got a quiet ventilation from the back, that's very nice, it will help to ventilate the device. TP-Link logo, quite glossy. And here we've got some LEDs, the power on LED, we've got the 2.4 GHz LED, the 5 GHz LED on, the internet on, the Ethernet port that is being connected, and we've got a lock LED here. Now the antennas, they are very adjustable, it's your choice how to do it, <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> the spider with four legs. Well. Now, let's move on to the installation. I will show you from the app, Tether app, or from your desktop, from your web browser. I will prefer from the web browser because you've got more options from the browser. Let's open. Quite long cable for the power adapter, 1.5 meters. Now, let's move on for installation. This is a power here. Okay, let's power it on. Let's go to your web browser, 192.168.01. Uh, username is admin, password is admin. Let's get started. The procedure is very easy. Choose your region. Of where are you in which country? Choose static IP. Next. Then you need to put the IP address, the sub mask the default getaway the primary dns and the secondary dns this is the number from your provider and then you hit next next we have the network name and your passcode the wi-fi name of the 5g and the 2.4 gigahertz wireless choose what do you want and your password you need to put password to your wireless to protect your wireless connection next 
then we need to wait to establish connection with your provider that's nice. Here we've got some QR code to share your uh, wireless uh, network. And congratulations, finish. That was very easy to do. And there we are, network map. Already we've got some wireless devices that has been connected to our 2.4. And next I will connect them to 5G, some devices that I've got. We've got a connection about 29 devices on a wireless client and wired client engineer 2. We've got the 2.4 GHz, the 5 GHz. Archer C6, we can see more info about the wire wireless connection, guest network, etc. etc. Let's go to the advanced. Some specs about our internet and wireless, the LAN, the guest network, wireless client, wireless client server. Next, we go to the network, we've got the internet, we've got the LAN, IPTV VLAN, we've got the DHCP server, we've got the dynamic DNS, we've got the advanced routing, operation mode, current mode, this is a router or the access point, it can work like an access point, wireless, wireless settings, here is the name of your wireless uh, network and the password, the security settings that you've got for your wireless, WPS, router pin, you can uh, put a pin for your router, generate or default, push button recommended and connect, just push connected and the WPS wizard it will pop up and you will get on the WPS connection. Wireless schedule, you can schedule your wireless, TXBM, Mew Mew. This is uh, the reason that I already said I have buy this router because I have so many wireless devices and uh, Ethernet devices, PC, laptops, etc. etc. Statics. This is the devices and the, the received packets, the sent packets, security co connection type, etc. etc. One mess. One mess. One mess says device to work with the mess router. In one mess network, your mobile device will seamlessly switch to the mess router to extender the provides and faster speeds as you move through your home. Common network and one mess network. Okay. Guest network. Allow guests to see each other. Allow guests to access my local network. Save on 5G and 2.4 gigahertz. You can enable that. Parental control. Don't care about that. Q S, I enable QoS, a blowout bandwidth, download bandwidth, don't mess with that, leave it. Security settings, settings, we've got the SPI firewall, DOS protection, I leave it off everything. Access control, default access is black list, access control is off, and the wireless connection that I've got to my home. IP and MAC binding, RPL listing, modify, NAT forwarding, L E L G. Enable, enable, everything's enabled. Virtual server, okay. Port triggering, remote desktop, DMZ, enable DMZ, UPnP. There's a variety of settings that you can do with this TP link. IPvX, enable of not Mac clone, default Mac address, etc. VPN server, there's a VPN server, it has a VPN, wow, okay. You can enable VPN server. PPTPV VPN. More connection VPN, smart life assistant Alexa. Alexa, control your okay. I have an Alexa here. It's talking. Control your network device using simply the power of your voice with the TP-Link router skill of for Amazon Alexa. That means into your account of your Amazon, you can add the skill from the TP-Link. Prioritize the internet connection for of your laptop. Switch off your router LEDs or ask Alexa to read out the password of the guest network, all without stopping what you're doing. Mm, nice. Follow the steps and you're good to go. Okay. And let's go to the system tools, time settings, 24 hour time. Let's put it on 24 hour and save. Get automatically from the internet or manually. Save it, nice. LED control, night mode. We've got a night mode. If you want a LED status, it will enable and then you can schedule when to. Okay, diagnostics, start diagnostics, ping, okay. Firmware update. Checks for upgrade. I already done the upgrade of uh, my router. Checking again, but nothing. Your firmware is up to date. Backup and restore. 
Restore saved in settings for your file. Backup, backup here. Save a copy of your current settings. That's nice. And restore. Factory restore. Next, we have a reboot schedule. You can reboot this router wherever you want. Uh, you can put a schedule. Administration. You can change your admin password. System logs. Nice. Traffic statics. System parameters. Many options to change. I enable WDS breaching, I enable WDS breaching 5G and 2.4. That's nice. Let's move on now to the app, Tether app, to see how you can see your router from the app. And there we get our devices and the Arter C6. Login into the Arter C6 from the app, wireless. And we've got the wireless 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz guest network client and this is all the clients that is connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz networks tools we've got a quick setup that means you can set up your new router from your tp-link tether i already done that of course the wireless your internet connection one mess QoS, parental control, network diagnostics, guest network, set your Wi-Fi with a QR code, TP-Link ID, you need to register and then you can uh, access to your uh, router uh, away from your uh, local network of your home. LED control, we have the LED status, the night mode, you can schedule again. Operation mode, wireless router or an access point, system, manage password, firmware update, reboot factor defaults, logout, firmware update. Again, you can check for firmware update, but we are okay. And advanced settings. Tether lets you conveniently set up and manage your network for more advanced features such as DHCP in a server, not forwarding PIPVX. Please go to the web management page and do more. And as we can see, the TB-Link app Tether, it can give you some options to manage your router. Well, definitely in my next video, I will test the speed of this router. I will copy some file to my server uh, from the wireless connection, from my phone, from my laptop, from my PC, 2 meters away, 15 meters away, more away, and we will see how much speed it will have. I will check my internet connection speed, how it goes with that, close to the router and away from the router. And until then, enjoy this video. We will back soon. Have a nice and lovely day. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like it's like my video is your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.